And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we're going to be going over what you should be expecting for the rest of the Madden year. Now, I'm going to be walking you guys over kind of just like the specifics of everything, some micro, some macro over the rest of the year in Madden. Because, guys, obviously, I went over the promos. I went over that, but we want to know, like, what's really going to be, what are you going to really be doing in Madden for the next two months? Because that's really how long the lifespan is left. Because two months from today will be about July 13th. And at that point, we already have Madden 21 news. We got some, like, basically player cards. We got quite a few things already announced. And if the game follows anywhere like last year, it should be releasing two weeks post that date that we're talking about. So we're really not that far away. So what's left to expect from this game? Promo wise, we talked about it, obviously. We got golden tickets still, of course, and Ultimate Legends. Those will go through probably almost the rest of the year. Golden tickets will go about another month-ish, and Ultimate Legends should go at least another month and a half, two months-ish, almost the whole way. And then, of course, we have Blockbuster to fill the gaps towards the end, as well as Positional Heroes and Loyalty at some point, and Rookie Premiere. So, guys, in my opinion, I'm going to go over everything I think you should be doing, kind of the route you should be following. And how to do this but before we get into today's video make sure down below hit that subscribe button that notify bell boys and comment down below if you guys need any help with anything or if anything to add to this video now first things first what i want to start off with is rookie premieres now if you guys don't know what rookie premieres is a lot of you guys have been asking about them rookie premiere can be one of two things now for most people at this point you quit madden or a lot of people quit madden and for you guys it's just a way of coming back into the game last weeks and guaranteeing yourself stuff for next year for some people who play throughout the entire year, it's a fun way to get 9 then overall, like rookies, on your team, while also helping yourself next year. Now, I'm going to go with the first one. That's what most people usually end up doing. That's what I used to do. So, a good way for that, will hit, but here's the issue. Then there's two different types of people. There's people who are smart and put away like a million coins that they know they're not going to use anymore and don't waste it. And they know they're done. They quit. They leave it. And then they come back and work for Mirrors Drop. They go. They get themselves all their rookies for next year. And that's it. Then they quit. Other people say... Oh, you know, I'm done with Madden. I'm just gonna pop a bunch of packs. They spend two million in packs, they get nothing, and then in a month or so, when Rookie Premier drop, they're pissed and they go buy coins. Now, I wouldn't want to be that second guy, but if you're the second guy, you just go pull it up checkout. But if you're not that second guy, here's what I'm advising you now, so you guys do know. We are about a month to a month and a half away from Rookie Premier's dropping into Madden. Now, the way Rookie Premier's works, it's gonna be a set. Now, it's gonna be like ten hand-selected rookies by uh, by EA. So let's say one is Chase Young, one is two Attack of Iloa. One is Joe Burrow, one is DeAndre Swift or Clyde Edwards-Alaire, one is T. Higgins, one is Justin Jefferson or, or you know, whatever, uh, McKinney, doesn't matter. It's going to be like 10 guys total. Now, the way this works is they're going to each have a set. Each set usually costs around like 2 to 300k, depending, at least it has in years past. So, let's say you have a million coins. You could probably do about three. Let's go with even four if you snipe the cards out. So, let's say we go four. So, you got to finish their sets. When you finish their sets, you get a 9 and overall version of them for this year which is fun. And then you also get a rookie card next year that develops throughout the year. Now, if you don't know what that means is, pretty much it's like that Saquon card. Like, so let's say next year you get a nine, uh, you, you're soft the year, the 75 overall Joe Burrow rookie premiere. In two weeks, they drop a rookie standout promo and Joe Burrow gets an 87 overall. Your Joe Burrow now turns into an 87 overall. At Christmas, Joe Burrow gets a Ghost of Future card for a 94 overall, LTD. Now you have a 94 overall Joe Burrow for free. It just keeps, it, like, it's like a card that just self develops and upgrades. As long as another card comes out of it, like that's another card of his name comes out with it. You guys know what I'm saying? So it's a great way in this year to set yourself up for next year. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. There's some fallbacks to the rookie premieres. First off, they don't get ability. They usually don't get, you can't power them up, obviously. So they usually lack sprinter and lack certain abilities that you can get otherwise on other players, which is a downside of them. As well as they stop upgrading February, which really isn't that bad. And the fact that typically when they get their upgrades, by the time they get their upgrades, sometimes your team's too good for them anyways. But guys, at the end at the end of the day, if it's at the end of the year and you have nothing else to do with the coins, you don't plan to sell them, might as well just take what you can get and just convert it for something, right? But that'll be coming out pretty much in like a month and a half. And then obviously, for all you guys still playing the game, just keep collecting your weekly coins. Guys, some really good advice I can give you guys. If you don't know what to do with coins or you don't plan to really buy things anymore, like you don't, you're not like really building your team much anymore, just play weekend league this month save a bunch, a bunch of coins and just sell them to a coin seller like you still get to play the game you, you enjoy and then go on over to a coin seller or on twitter i really don't recommend the twitter route i mean you can get more from there 
but the issue with that is going to be that you, there's a high like 80 percent chance you get scammed more than not so it really comes down to what you guys think but in my personal opinion if you're not saving up for these golden tickets go play weekly if you're pretty decent at the game save up like a million coins or save up like two million coins and then just go on ahead and sell them to a coin seller make back like 60 to 100 dollars easy and then you know what you do with that hundred dollars well everyone always says they do too a lot of people always comment this and i think it's smart you make that 100 and then what you do is you turn that into madden 21 so you just use madden 20 to buy madden 21 although you spend much more in packs throughout the year and everything else but you can buy the game if you really want to be ambitious you could also buy a 40 dollars microsoft card stay tape it to it and there you go you use all your you turned all your coins into madden 21 and a pack opening start the year that's one good way to go about doing that in my opinion Obviously, you could just save up for these golden tickets if you really felt inclined to do so. But we all know, I mean, these are just crazy prices. Like, in coin value, it probably costs you like two, three hundred dollars just to get one of these cards right about now, which is kind of absurd, quite honestly, if I do say so myself. But up to you guys. And guys, this has been Hamid Sanu on the block. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know where this thing came from. It, it, it's just here. And uh, I don't know when this, this came out. I mean, if you guys know better than me, let me know down below. But he has a 93 speed, 96 throw power, 99 throw short, 93 throw mid, 97 throw deep. 95 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run. Now, this card is decent. I mean, he's going to be fast. I'm good. He's, I mean, he's pretty good. If you put go deep on him, you end up getting him max throw power, max throw deep. You end up getting him to like 99 throw on the run. Ends up getting about 96 speed. Eh, kind of like MVP Lamar, just a little bit better throwing. Nothing too special, but not bad in the slightest at all. Personally, well, I'm picking him up. Probably not. He's 5 million coins. I really don't know where this card came from, though. Because that did not drop, I do not believe. But that's interesting. Like I said, we only have like four or five more weeks worth of these golden tickets, so don't expect much more. Hopefully, the price starts to drop as time goes on. But remember as well, they're kind of the best cards for the rest of the year, more than likely. So, and they're going to be out of packs, like the rarity-wise, much harder to get than they already are. So I don't know how this is going to really fold out and pan out for a lot of things, but we can hope that they still end up, you know, going down a price we can enjoy. But like I said. In my opinion, the what to expect for the rest of the year to wrap it up for you guys in uh, in a few in a few statements here. There's not much else coming out. We're gonna get maybe three promos, which is saying a lot considering where we're at. Actually, like I didn't think we'd even get that many. We might get three promos. They're gonna be a little bit lackluster. Cards are maxed out already. So, like I said, best advice I can give you: save up your coins. And then when you feel done, like like June, you're like, okay, like I'm done. Like I'm gonna start enjoying my summer. Although we really can't right now, but you know, you get the guys get the point. And you want to, you're kind of done with video games for a little bit. Sell everything, build the 3 million coins, sell it to a coin seller for 150 to 200k, whatever you can get for it. I don't really know the going rate these days, but sell it, take it, and go on ahead, take those coins, and see if you can go and buy yourself Man 21, maybe something for your girlfriend, maybe a new pair of Yeezys, I don't know. But be, be productive with it, don't just let it go to waste, because people either let these coins die in this game, or what they do is, which please don't have to do, when they're like, okay, I quit, and they tell their friends, and they they, they, they FaceTime, and like, oh, watch this, I'm going to spend 4 million coins in packs of them. Convert that into $200, real U.S. currency, euros, pesos, wherever you're from, and go on ahead and buy yourself Madden 21, packs of Madden 21, pair of shoes, pay some bills, I'm telling you guys, use it properly, because there's a lot of use for those coins. Like, me, myself, personally, I don't know if I'm going to go that route, because I have to kind of, you know, I'm playing this game to the end, but for many other people, they can go that route. So I don't think I can sell my team just because of my job description. I'm kind of here for that. You know, $200 would be great, but it is what it is. But for you guys, you guys have that opportunity. I mean, just, just don't quit and do something dumb. I've, I have been the, I've been the guy. So when Madden 13, all those other years, have ended the year, bought every player I could buy, then bought a bunch of packs. Like, that's, that's literally what I always do. But I vowed not to do that again because I was stupid. So take advantage of it, guys. Because pretty much what you do is you get those coins from EA by buying, spending money, and then you give it back to them and then rebuy more money. It's just a really vicious cycle guys that's about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already make sure to like this video like i just said because guys likes are very important make sure to keep that up comment down below let me know what you guys think if you guys have anything to add to this video and guys that's pretty much it that's what to expect we got three pro blockbuster loyalty rick premiere rest of golden tickets and ultimate legends positional heroes that should be the rest of the year right there cards are not getting much better very hard to get much better like like even with chem and stuff you might what, what much better is gonna be at this point it's like a plus two throw power maybe that's all max pretty much a plus two throw medium a plus two route running like it's gonna be so minimal you're barely gonna notice it anymore so you have your team the way you like it you gotta put your bunch of coins sitting around go sell them take advantage of them guys that's about it thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys later enjoy the rest of your day this will be the only video for today like i said i don't want to force feed content out especially when there's not much to give out but we do have golden tickets tomorrow so come back tomorrow for the day the weekly golden ticket video that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.